everybody, I'm Ian Abrethi and I've got a quick pad drill I'd like to share with you. Uh, this pad drill enables to, us to work the arcing shot, so we've got one punch on a 45 degree angle, one coming around on, on, on a flat. We hit with the same hand twice, so we get to work the body dynamics of quickly hitting with the same hand, rather than just left, right, left, right. If we go left, left, there's a body dynamic associated with that. Uh, we put a sweep in there, then depending on the context, we either finish with a roundhouse kick, which I do head height, but you could do middle level on the legs if you wanted, and that would be for a, a fighting context of dueling another martial artist. And for the self-defense context, we take them away and, and uh, take them down, hit them and run away. So, uh, so you get lots of things covered in this drill. One thing that we need is we need continuous movement when we perform it. At no point do we want to be static. Only two things still in a fight, unconscious people and people who are about to be unconscious. Everything else should be moving, okay? And the other thing we need is we need maximum power on every single shot. No tippy-tappy shots. We're going for big hits, big power all the time. Now, because of this, we need the body weight moving continually and behind the techniques, uh, moving in the same direction as a such. So sometimes people see these things and they go, okay, well, where are the stances? Well, if you're asking that, that's because you don't understand what stances are. Okay? Um, stances are positions that we move through in order to generate body weight. We don't freeze frame on them. That's how beginners practice. As Funakoshi said, the father of modern karate, right? As Funakoshi said, he goes, beginners use stances, advanced students have natural posture. And that's not because we do away with stances, it's because the natural uh, movement of the, uh, the, the advanced student is made up of those stances, but it's continuous. We don't freeze frame, we don't fixate on it. So anyway, a few little pointers so you understand what's been shown. I, I hope you uh, enjoy the drill. I hope it's something that you can uh, enjoy making use of in your own training and teaching. Like it. Thanks for watching the video. I put a point on the, the, the hip movement, right? So uh, your hip should always lead the body. So if I want, which we're doing at the moment, I want the force to go diagonally upwards. So to, to get that, my center of gravity needs to go diagonally upwards. So that should happen. So your, hip, your hip's going to go and, and, and rise. And, and if anything, the hand wants to be late in the movement. So just like any other dynamic movement, like a tennis, uh, tennis serve or a shot put or a javelin throw, you've got that delay between the two. So, so, so again, make sure the hip is doing this, and once you've got the body moving there, then the hand will come after the event. Is that okay? You can even skip into it a little bit, because the, the important thing is that your mass is behind the shot. So again, the mode 45 degrees with the lead hand. So again, you're going to... Watch all the hips are doing, right? I'm not looking, I'm not overcutting, it's between the two. There. Get the idea. So, so, so if you get that right, this will take care of yourself. Is that alright? Then we're going to have the next part of a nice explosive short shot, right? Give that a big go. We've got nothing we can latch onto, right? So we, we've swung that, that shot in from there. It either hits him or it doesn't, right? If it hits him, you'll normally get sort of like a, a pain withdrawal response. If he's smart enough to kind of cover up, then his head's likely to be open anyway. So what I want to do on the first one, again, is we're going to do a, a, a shovel hook on the first one. As you recover it, your partner's going to put like a straight hook on the second one. Is that okay? So you're going to go from the, 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 like the body with the shovel hook and you're kind of rising up, so rising through the target, and then coming in with the hook on the second one. So you can lower the height of the shovel hook a little bit if you want to. Uh, and I, this is what I want to avoid. I want to avoid two separate shots. So, so not to... Um, they're, they're two separate shots, right? I want it to be a combination. So you, you'll flick the throat and then you'll come back. So as this one is finishing off, I'm already starting to wind my hip back up. Is that okay? So, so that's, that's the kind of the mechanics that we want. So I get 45 degrees on the first one, so nice and cut it like that, and then on the second one. So you're going to... And you'll make, don't make it too tacky either. Don't be this kind of thing. Open it up, right? Big power shot. Is that okay? Uh, give that a go with your partner, we'll have two more things on at the end of that, alright? Make it a bit more fun for you. So, uh, there's two I want you to play with then, I'll be that, right? So you've got like a, a fighting based one, if you like, a dueling based one, and then a self defense based one. I want you to do both. Both start the same way. So, uh, so again, we're going there, we're going low, we're going high. So we're attacking on one side here, rapidly. Right, so you're going to attack. So while he's sitting on this side, this is now the good side to go to, right? Because if he's doing this kind of thing, that's effectively unguarded. So we've got one, two, and when you reach grab your partner's uh, gear. So of course, in that you're, you're really close. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to adjust the distance a little bit because his head's effectively on the wrong end of his arm. But when you take it out, you swing that lead leg. Okay, so he's up in this position. Tim's going to put that paddle up here, right? He's going to do double braces. It doesn't matter which way I was going. Uh, and then from there, uh, again, from now, that's the finish. So, with control, you can do it any other way. 
So uh, the real team for a second, so the idea of I'll go one, two, I'll be sweeping from there, and while it's up, oh, it's crap. Right, so as a, as a, a fight technique, then that's that done, done, finished. But obviously kicking it out in a self-defense scenario is way too risky, right? So you change the idea, so it's sweep again, and you can take all your shoulders down. Kick his leg, I'm taking it down, finish and move away, look for his friend. He's like, okay, so you've got the fighting one, which again, so sweep it that way, put it up, and that has to be fighting the next one. Self-defense phase one, Take start, take a cup from there, and then move on. Is that okay? So uh, play with them both, but be mindful of the two different contexts, okay? We just use the same opener and roll. Come on, point yourself. Just on, 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 on the once, once you've done that sweep, if you go for the takedown, that's fine. Right? If you've got to go for the kick, you need the room to kick. Right, so what, once you've done the sweep from there, get your step back. Is that sort of difference just using the real team for me? Then I might have a kick here or a kick here, depending on what height I'm looking for. So you, you, you'll, you'll sweep it and then adjust your distancing. Right, so while he's standing there again, his balance, that's when the kick comes in. Does that make sense? And then for the, the actual uh, transition, so we just go do the full thing again. Then, you know, I'm out there, here. You know, that makes sense. So as his arms are coming over this side, so it's like this side is unprotected. So while he's sort of like non punching hand is on the ground. I then adjust my distance with that foot and then sweep my hook accordingly. Boom! He's like, okay, I'm going to end up in a position where I want him. So if I'm kicking him, it's like, bang, it's right there. If I'm taking him down, I'll kick down the far leg or the other side, as many things, and let him fall and then finish off from there. Is that alright? So you do need to adjust your distancing as you go. So any questions on that? Is everyone good? Yeah, so on the, the, that second one, yeah. the sweeping, pulling around the sweeping, do you, and then do you do it the same, swap legs? Do 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 do